Hey, what's up, YouTube? Carlos here with my uh, 2019 STI. It's been a while. I haven't made an update in a while, a couple months now. Uh, and that's pretty much the reason for my video today, uh, to, give you, to give you guys an update on my 2019 STI. Uh, you know, so I, first of all, I just want to say I love this car. You know, I've, I've owned three different STIs in the, in the past, including this one. But this one is kind of special. Um, there's something to this car that, you know, versus the other ones. I've had a 20, 2016 Hyper Blue for like literally a week that I got from CarMax. And since it was modified, um, you know, put back to stock kind of thing, I, I returned it with their seven day policy. So that didn't, that didn't go well. I was really stoked about getting that car. But, um, you know, unfortunately, um, I found out it was modified when I plugged in uh, the OBD2 port, I think is, is what it's called, uh, the computer. I found out that it was not passing smog. And so that kind of told me that the previous owner uh, did not, you know, did, you know, put it back to stock uh, and it was modified. And so I returned it and then I got this one immediately like literally um like the same day i returned the other one i went to subaru and fullerton ocean subaru and i got it now the other one the 2017 i think <sighs> i would say it's, it's like my favorite of them all because they had all the bells and whistles um it was a limited model it was red so it was very rare you know compared to the other colors I, I would say uh, I, I really don't see a lot of colors here in California in Orange County uh, a lot of reds but uh, comparing the three you know this one uh, has probably the, the best performance it's probably the lightest and you know it doesn't have the, the moon roof and all that stuff I think it makes it a little bit lighter it doesn't have the leather seats which for the you know 2018s and up um, they don't have those either get the Recaro packages or the standard seats which I think they're they're good enough and in my opinion they're as good as Recaro is um, they're really good I mean they have Alcantara and leather so they're they look classy to me so I'm just kind of you know doing a walk around for now but uh, so you know I did talk about those three SDIs that I've owned um, comparing this 2019 STI to the WRX that I had, the, the white one that I showed you guys in my previous video. Uh, night and day. Um, it's just, it feels like a completely different car. Not to talk down on the WRX, it, it is a great car. Don't get me wrong, I, I love that car, but um, there's just something about, you know, a, an STI. Um, there's just so much performance there, even though the, the statistics, as far as, you know, the horsepower numbers, it's not that much more. There's just something about an STI that just you just can't get with a WRX. Um, so I think the the biggest thing that I want to talk about today is what I went through with Subaru for this car. So this car has not given me any issues as far as um, you know engine or transmission or powertrain or anything else. The only thing that I went through and hence the reason i haven't made videos is because i actually did not go through a honey honeymoon phase until now surprisingly i bought this car in, in july and now we're looking at you know december right and so for months literally months i went uh to the dealer to try to sort something out in, in the trunk right um now I initially thought that this was going to be this is this was a suspension issue so anytime I went through uh, potholes little bumps you know any sort of like you know first to second acceleration I would hear a clunky noise and I went to the dealer like literally 10 times and they couldn't find it find out what was, what was wrong with it and so I was really frustrated because I, I couldn't get it fixed. And so for the timing, um, I kind of annoyed them so much that eventually they kind of just stopped supporting me. And so what I want to recommend in this video is if you have an issue that you just can't get addressed at the dealer level, go ahead and raise it up at the corporate level. So I, 
I, you know, I did that. I actually called uh, corporate and I opened up a ticket, a global ticket or whatever you want to call it, to address the issue with my Subaru. Ah, you know, short and sweet, basically what was wrong with the car, it was not anything suspension related. Um, I was really unhappy with uh, the fact that I just bought a brand new STI with an issue on it, you know, um, but what was literally wrong with my car, it was the trunk latch was not properly, um, you know, adjusted to where it creates enough friction between the tow hook and the, the, the latch. Um, and so whenever going over bumps, that thing was loose. And so the trunk was loose. And so I, you know, went to the super dealer, to another super dealer to get it uh, taken care of. And, you know, I didn't figure it out, to be honest. It was, it was a, a, a tech that helped me and figure it out. He actually went on a test drive with me and said, well, that doesn't seem like a suspension issue. Why don't we open up the trunk while you're driving? And then he literally went, he, he folded down the seats, went on the trunk, and then he opened up the trunk um, and then he held it so it didn't open up while driving, right? And so he's like, yep, it's the trunk. It's, the, it's somewhere along the latch. So he replaced the entire latch, which I think was not wrong. There was nothing, nothing wrong with that latch, but he, um, he replaced it on a warranty and then the he adjusted the the tow hook and the, the latch so it makes enough you know um lock uh locking um between them so that it doesn't become loose and so that was the only issue with my car thus far um now because i was so frustrated there was this person that knew about that frustration at the corporate level right and so they, he, without my knowledge, he sent a, um, a, some, a present, which I'm gonna go ahead and share. Um, I think it was, I, I get why, because he doesn't want me to talk smack about the Subaru and the service, um, which, you know, was not the best at the first dealer. But again, it's not anywhere really, you know, it's, it's not, don't take it personal. If you're not happy with, one particular dealer just go to another one and try to get that addressed um and they have traceability uh between dealers and so you know all the paperwork is there uh you know please just uh make sure that you, you also save your paperwork so they don't they don't think and they don't uh say that they're not nothing's wrong with your car traceability is important but i guess the one one i wanted to share is this present so they actually sent this over to me and I was like, whoa, dude, that's nuts. So they, they, they sent me these super nice, uh, I know they're a little bit dirty, but, but um, they're like new wafers, I think, um, <laughs> at no cost. Like it was just like a courtesy, uh, pre you know, gift because I went through so much pain because I had just literally bought the car and I went through that painful stage of like trying to figure out what the hell was wrong with my car. And so... You know, given that pain, uh, they made it up to me with that. Um, since we're inside, why don't we just go over that, right? Like what I've kind of done. I, I know that I shared with you guys what a, you know, what different head unit I got. Um, I know that it, it looks kind of small, um, but at the same time, it's not much smaller than the stock one. You know, the stock one has buttons here and I think here. Um, but the stock one was just like crap when I got it. Like it was lagging. And I know that I could have gone through warranty and get the, does get the, you know, the software updated or even changed if the whole entire unit was just like faulty. I know that I could have gone that route, but this is a badass unit. Like, because on top of like, you know, the, the output that it provides, like for a better sounding system, it has a wireless uh, Apple CarPlay, so I don't have to plug this in. I hardly plug this in when I'm using my car. It's more of like, you know, whenever I need to charge it. That's the only reason I, I plug my phone. But otherwise, I could just literally have the phone in my pocket and just start playing music, um, Apple CarPlay, like Pandora or even iTunes. Um, and so I, I, I love this set unit. 
I don't know if it says like which one. I think that's the the model. So it is a Pioneer. I know. I apologize that my car is a little bit dusty and dirty right now. Again, the weather has been crappy, so I haven't really been incentivized to wash my car and kept it, you know, spotless, uh, which I rarely do. You know, I, I do take care of my cars. Um, you know, here's the steering wheel. I love it. You know, it's it's awesome. I don't know what that is. I think it's part of the installation where, you know, the, the guy that installed my sound system uh, has to do with maybe the mic. And here's the, the mic that he installed, which is great. So... Uh, people can typically hear me a little bit and it's adjustable uh, to however I want it, right? And so, uh, I don't think I've done anything, here's some Jamba Juice, I don't think I've ever I've done anything inside, to be honest. So, why don't we just, uh, maybe, the trunk, let me see, it's like down here. So, that's that. I'm going to show you a modification that I get for safety. something here that allows you to pull this almost missed it there you go so there it is so this is the AOS the IAG AOS uh, I know that I don't have modifications but I just did it for um, you know reliability and long-term reliability so I in case I want to push the car a little bit you know it's just uh, something to kind of help me with um, uh, any uh, blow by right and so beneath the oil pan there is a um, killer B pickup tube I think it's like an oil pickup tube that I got in the windage uh, the windage tray inside the oil pan I didn't get the the killer B oil pan but I did get those two and I think those are gonna help me with reliability so those are only things the only two things I've done to the engine like or like within the engine you know um, which I think, you know, they're, they're not going to give me any performance, but I feel like just for a peace of mind, they're definitely going to, you know, do me good. So the engine looks pretty, uh, pretty dirty to be honest, but not nothing too crazy, right? So I'm just going to leave the engine like that. I uh, wanted to share. So I haven't done anything other than the tints here. Uh, the other thing that I talked about safety, right? Which is not really like doesn't really add much safety to be honest but hey well, you know something something's better than nothing so that is a JDM uh, rear fog light rear uh, yeah it's like a rear fog light fog light I think that's what they're called um, but I love it uh, it's it I got it through Suvi Speed so go ahead and check it out if you guys are interested uh, I want to keep it as like you know OEM as possible. Uh, I don't I don't want to go crazy with this car at all. Like I want to keep it as stock as possible. I don't want to go stage one, mod it, stage two, and then move move through like E85 and all that. I did that with my 2017 SDI, and I do not want to go that route. Um, I think this car out of the box is amazing. There's no need to modify it. But if you guys are interested in modifying, that's okay. You know, but for me, it, I feel like I want to. Uh, there's another SUVI, the white one over there. Um, you know, I want to keep it stock as, 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 as much as possible and keep it forever kind of thing, right? Um, and I think with those mods that I, I did, it's going to last me for a very long time. Um, and so I, I believe. <laughs> but uh, I do have the nameless uh, Capac exhaust. Uh, it is a... It has a four inch muffler and obviously the, the nameless resonator. But these are typically the, these are the Neo Chrome tips. Um, I love this system. They're like not too loud, but they're, they're loud, but they're never not like obnoxious. Like if you were going with the muffler deletes. So there's a, a one side and then oh, there's my, sh my shadow. There's another one right there. And let's see if I can get closer to down there. And then down there. So there they are. Again, um, 
you know maybe in my future videos I can talk to you guys about like my other cars that I've owned compared to this one um, I've been really missing my Ma Mazda Speed 3 so maybe in the future I'll be getting one but for now my priority is to get um, cut down some debt especially credit card debt get that out of the way and then focus on this car trying to pay off quicker and then you know obviously while i do that maybe uh looking into buying a house i still want to do that um i need to sort out some things on my job uh and then you know looking into buying a, a home because I, I i'm interested in that and then later on the road maybe i can have this one and then maybe modify a mazda p3 or maybe getting a I, i've been like really um really um anxious to get like a b or c or like a miata i don't know i, I want to test drive one of those to see if they're like so much fun like they say uh but i know like i want to get like a project car um be, just because i don't want to mod this one uh i am thinking of getting uh you know a project car again since i've owned a mazda p3 i know what they're all about and i know they're very reliable and nowadays like they're picking up as far as like popularity in in, in the media and so they're they're right like they're great cars like i've owned like my first finance car ever like brand new from from the lot was a mazda speed and i went through a, like a stage three package the Cobb stage three package stage two class and it was a monster like it was incredibly fast way faster than this one if you compare it stock to to a modified one it was definitely faster than this uh, and I pushed the car every day and it never ever gave me problems. So um, I am a big fan of those. Um, I obviously love my Subi. This has been my dream car as well. I went back to it for a reason. Uh, I want to keep it as much as possible. So uh, again, you know, just wanted to give you guys an update on where I'm at with my car, what I went through, and then, you know, maybe perhaps future plans for other cars in this one. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, like, or comment. Thanks.